so just repeating what happened yesterday um, yeah we were sailors and overlanders traveling in cabot trail so this is now another part of this uh, because tom one of the sailors invited me to his boat and uh, yeah we did like a little trip and today i'm gonna be on his boat and you will see how that is just introduce yourself and your boat ah if you like there you go i am tom um, selling missile courage all right there you go and i am al on the sailing vessel ingomar and uh i am tess the other part of sailing vessel ingomar <laughs> nice and you know me fabian i'm not sailing but i'm driving b-movie there you go <laughs> After our trip yesterday uh, around the Cabot Trail in my B-Mobile, um, they invited me to Ingomar uh, for a romp. So uh, this is what happened Just there. Do oh, okay, yeah. uh, wonderful designs. You can you can buy just the plants. You can buy an entire kit. They're awesome. Buy the and it's right out of Annapolis. Did you buy the plants or the kit? We just bought plants. He's so happy and to me have me and his my younger and son when I was in high school. He loves us. Built, built those things up. He does. He does. And uh, did wonderful jobs. They're hanging in my elder son's garage in, uh, in Northern Atlanta right now. But, How's uh, everyone's booze? Uh, I'm boozing. These I got because I I've had one of We're, those kayaks five years. Uh, it's been outdoors. We don't have much. On my. This, this is crazy. I can't drink straight booze like that. Like for five years. I'm struggling. And, and they're indestructible. Well, you're probably exhausted and you got jet lag. Sorry, I'm filming you. <laughs> with airdrop or not with airdrop? No, airdrop, uh, fucking uh, airdrop, airdrop didn't work. Oh, okay. People, they don't know. It, those Canadian Americans mm, don't yeah. know airdrop. It's yeah. a German thing. What yeah. the fuck? I've but never it, used it before. And, and if it's a slower connection, it's probably like train, no, it's what airport it's train drop. Yeah, but airport. wait, I do have airdrop, so I am going to investigate it when I go home. So you taught us something. There you go. Yeah, really yeah you good. taught me something that I need a sailing boat. <laughs> Isabella, Isabella, Isabella. Cheers, mom. Change of plans. Change of plans, exactly. <laughs> Train it. Stay <laughs> home, I'm gonna pick you up in Hamburg. <laughs> no, don't buy a sailboat in Germany. Ah, yeah, exactly. Need we need a license. Yeah, Tell her I'm coming back. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Stay where you are. I'm I sold back. the rig and bought a sailboat. <laughs> I got some good news and you got some bad news. <laughs> The good news is, Isabella, yeah. we don't need an insurance for our car yeah. anymore. <laughs> Screw the insurance, we don't need it. That's yeah. what else I was going to get oh, you. Yeah, yeah cool. <laughs> so the next day was a little tougher, but uh, we managed. And uh, Tom invited me to his uh, sailing boat called Courage. See what happened there. Good morning. Going back Good out morning. to my boat. Morning. Yeah. It's his second week here. Yeah. He just told us. He's an expert. And he's an expert. And, yeah. And there's the in Canada, which is awesome. A little tired though. Um, yeah, but we are on the water taxi in uh, Bedeck. I don't know if you see back there. There's my truck behind the boat. Where is it? While being on Tom's boat, uh, he will give us a tour. I will just let the video run. It's just nice and <clears throat> overlanders and sailors are not so different after all. And then I take a nap and it's still going. Which I don't, I don't recommend for you. But you don't take a nap here? Uh, no, because I want to stay on the boat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> on the water so make, make use of the wild pop. This is awesome. Hold on, now. Now. <laughs> <laughs> so this is my home, my boat, my vessel. 
and I've rebuilt almost everything. So we're gonna start with the galley. Nice. Kitchen. Three burner stove, oven, propane, gas. Fridge. Fridge is in that box, you lift the lid. It's a little freezer and, and it's fridge. trash? Uh, no, more storage. Ah, okay. Uh, and then there's various pumps under under the sink <clears throat> and some control panel stuff and plates and plates and dishes are under here. Everything on a boat has to be secure so you can hide it. So things don't <laughs> fall out exactly things like that. Yeah, so <laughs> things don't fall out. And spices and all kinds of stuff. And nice. More storage, more storage, and big pots and pans down here and drawers and it's silverware. Quite, quite big. Yeah. So that's the galley, and then this would be the nav table. So navigation instruments, and you know, it's a desk, with stuff wow. under here. Um, various radios, so a nice stereo, you have to have music. This is a VHF radio for local communication, and this up here is a single sideband radio for long distance. So that radio we use to talk thousands of miles. Wow. And then uh, this is the control panel for the solar panel. We're, I'm, I'm gaining five amps right now. Awesome. Just sitting here. Okay. And then uh, bilge pumps. So that was what you were hearing before, pumping water out of the oh, bottom okay, of the okay. boat. That's yeah. one that bilge pump. There's another bilge pump. And then the control panel for uh, breakers for turning things on and off. Mm -hmm. This, uh, you had something like this. Uh, mine's along that. So right now I'm gaining five amps, but total is minus two amps. Refrigerator. Because I have things that are on. Yeah. And then I keep track of the total amp hours in the battery. I have 840 amp hours. I'm down 224. Ah, so I'm okay. down 25%, mm -hmm. but you only use the upper half. So I'm down 50%, but that's a week. I've not turned anything on to put more power in other than the solar panels and wind generator for a week. A hot water heater. So these, these pipe, these uh, hoses right here trade um, with uh, coolant water with the engine so that I can heat hot water. I get hot water either through uh, heating it when the engine's running yep. or I can turn on the electricity though only if I'm plugged in the shore make hot water. Uh, batteries, there's eight of these under here. My inverter is over here so I can take at, right now I could turn on the inverter and change 12 volt DC into 120 volt AC to run normal appliances yeah, yeah, yeah. and drills and tools and stuff like that. Other sails here. Uh, I have a, a smaller sails for higher winds. I have a second set of larger sails and a gas grill to grill nice. hamburgers. <laughs> <laughs> the other way out. So, uh, close. Yeah. <laughs> Ranging from shorts to a uh, good muck locker. <laughs> Which I wore on the way here and hanging hanging locker stuff and foul weather gear. Pretty big. And then this is the aft head or bathroom. Except there's two on this boat. And one of them is always the garage. So this one's the garage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So there's a spinnaker, the great big colorful sail for very light ah, winds. Okay. 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 Um, this is a hundred foot of hose that I connect to between clean my Ah. scuba tank and therefore I don't have to take the tank with me when I jump over to work on the boat I just take the regulator I leave the tank ah. on the boat it's much easier uh, this this painting was custom made by had my son, my son made it this is the uh, uh, beer Corona yeah you've seen this Corona commercial but if you look very closely these are not Corona bottles I don't know if you could see, but if you could squint in there, it's Courage, ah, which wow. is a British beer, John Courage. Okay. And the name of this vessel is Courage. Courage. Nice. Yes. yes. So he had that made into every horizon. Nice. For Papa. There you go. Back forward. The engine light. Oh, this is the main living space. Cool. So these are the back side of all the electronic instruments. <laughs> Everything there. Extra parts and pieces. Uh, stickers from places I've been. Cool. 
I always have to do things like that. A microwave. <laughs> a microwave, which I can run off the inverter. He's American. He needs his microwave everywhere. Don't use it very often. <laughs> uh, and then uh, the movie collection. <laughs> what? Yeah. You have to have your movies, which you see on the big flat screen. Well, it's, it's still lashed up coming from C. <laughs> ah, okay, because yeah. you can turn. Yeah. Yeah, I, yeah it's just right I didn't do that yet. Yeah. Nice. So, um, parts and pieces that are in here. Uh, there was storage and whatnot under all of these, of course. And under here, this is the, the pump, the high pressure pump in electric motor for my water maker that I'm still installing right now. Ah, okay. Okay. So that membrane is up under there. You can't see it. And then I project. have pre-filters. Yes, projects, 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 always projects. And, and you see all the strings. This one is still tied up. When you're out to sea and you're going through waves, if you didn't do that, things would fly everywhere. Yeah. So you, you tie things down. And then two seats here. In here is my uh, sewing machine. <laughs> so, okay. Of cool. course. Well, uh, a a heavy-duty sail right sewing machine. It has like a four, uh, probably a two, three kilogram weight on the wheel. It's a very heavy duty uh, sewing uh. machine. Uh, this is also set up to become a sea berth. This cushion comes up, the seat comes up, it sits here and here. And then you have a bed. And there are other boards, same thing here. And one of these goes this way. And then in here, there are, I put boards in here. So you have, you're pinned in place. Nice. So you wouldn't fit. <laughs> this, is, <laughs> this is six foot. So my feet touch here, my head touches here, my shoulder touches that, my shoulder touches these. So it's only but when you're a seat, that's what you want because you can't sleep if you're hanging onto something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've tried; it doesn't work. Ah, so you built it when you take a nap. You do it sometimes yeah. here down below. Ah, okay. This this was just a straight uh, settee. They call it a couch or settee. Yeah. I rebuilt this when I had to tear the floor up to get to the water tanks. Ah. Whoa. So when I put it back, I said, "I want seats. I want a chair." Yeah. Yeah. So you can sit and you put your elbow and you have your peanuts and your beer. <laughs> Very important. <laughs> so this is the forward head, which is func quite functional. Oh, whoa. it's larger than the aft head. And there's a toilet and a sink. And then the nozzle on the sink pulls out for a shower. Yeah. The floor is wet because I took a shower this morning. Those are the controls for the water maker. Ah, okay. So already. So the water maker is in pieces everywhere on the boat. The compressor is here. The membrane is over there. The pre-filters are over there. The controls are over here, and they go to a water tank up forward. Okay. So they go. Over. If you come on my boat, these are the rules. <laughs> the standing I'm not order. Read them that no, way. no, no. But there are some very important rules here. General rules. If you're going to hurl. Do it downwind. <laughs> <laughs> Never throw up upwind. It's messy. Don't. It's don't, man. Don't do this. <laughs> uh, the V berth. So right now I only have one side that someone could stay on. Okay. Why? Because I have a folding bicycle. <laughs> yeah. And parts and does not have an electric motor. Next step. Yes, yeah, so that's your. So these are the boards that would make the C berth. Yeah. I said I dropped those in. Um, this, when you're offshore and in tough conditions, you need a safety harness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you stay with the boat, and this uh, will inflate if you fall overboard. But if you ah, fall you hang, over, you hang yourself on the boat. Yeah, yeah. You you put this on, mm -hmm. and then you will unclip one of these. Okay. Right here, and then clip that. When we go outside, you'll see there's a uh, webbing that goes the full length of the boat. So when I go forward at sea to work on the master up to the bow, I clip in so that I'm. Safe. There are three rules on a boat at sea. Stay on the boat. Stay on the boat. <laughs> Stay on the boat. Because I sailed from here to here from Bermuda seven days in the ocean. If I fall off, the boat will keep going. Yeah. And I can't swim as fast as the boat, and it doesn't go well. <laughs> it will be a very bad day. Uh, must must have a bread maker. Nice. Yeah. So that's one reason for the inverter. <laughs> my bread. And then. Underneath the here is all kinds of parts and pieces and storage. You see there's projects, there's drills and drill yeah, bits yeah. and whatnot. But if you do this, and this, and lift this up, 
underneath it here, every one of these you can open up. So these are parts and pieces and screws and pop rivets. And that's this one. The electrical was over there. More tools are under here. Spare nice. parts. Everything there. And then there's another full closet right here, which is mostly tools. Okay. And tools are out. Like the this is my sander. Yeah, you're working on. I'm working on things. This is a, a Dremel circular saw. Ah, okay, yeah, yeah. Really awesome. Great tool. That's good German <laughs> company. <laughs> and then do all. And there you go. That is interior. Nice. So, thanks for the tour, Tom. Yes. And uh, yeah. Au revoir. See you later. Yeah. here again now in Nova Scotia and uh, I heard from some crazy Canadians Americans there on a sailing boat you know <laughs> that this is kind of something you don't know here in America you only have a tank or something for your toilet to empty but I have this here and I'm gonna show you since I'm gonna use the chance to empty anyways so basically this is called the SOG system it's like when you flush the toilet it starts a little motor and it blows out the smell in this direction that you don't have it inside. Then you open it and there you go, the other you see the box. This is the, the air vent that automatically goes. You just release that. And then basically what you do is pull out the box. This has all good liquid inside. And that's, ta-da, this is your box. And here basically is the toilet box with water and everything. And then I can, it's like a trolley on the airport. Right now it's sandy floor, so I'm not gonna do it. But you bring this here and you empty, refresh it, put it back inside, and uh, you're good to go. Wow. All right, I'm gonna empty that now, see you later.